An evaluation is internally valid if it uses a good contrafactual. Internal validity has to do with the ability to draw causal inference from the evaluation. It ensures that the differences observed in the outcome variable between treatment and control are exclusively caused by the program. The key of the internal validity is to have a good contrafactual. The random assignment gives us the best contrafactual that any evaluation technique can buy. This result is actually very powerful. It says, be strict on your randomization when assigning treatment and control. You can be sure that your contrafactual is valid. Most of the work in a randomized evaluation is done before the intervention in the randomization process. Well, I'm assuming that you do what the assignment says, meaning treatment actually receives the program and control does not. There is no crossover in perfect compliance, contamination, or unattended spillover. You actually will need to work very hard to get a randomized evaluation done properly. What the theory tells us is that treatment and control will be statistically identical when you randomize and the sample is big enough. You do an experiment and there are not assumptions to make. You don't even need to observe the characteristics of the two groups. You know they will be balanced, which means all characteristics observables and unobservables will be statistically identical in both groups. The balance of unobserved characteristics is very, very difficult to obtain with non-experimental methods, and most of the time this issue becomes just an assumption that we cannot test or verify. Randomized controlled trials gives you internal validity because you know that any difference that you observe between treatment and control after the program is due to the program.